So you may know that my 2019 Winnebago Travato GL, L for lithium, is equipped with a Pure 3, there it is right there, the badging. It's a uh, Volta Pure 3 lithium energy system, 8,700 watt hours, 48 volts Oof. of electrical sexiness. However, I have a question. You may as well. How long will it run on a full charge in 12 volt DC mode only before the battery runs nearly dead? We're gonna experiment with that today. Stay tuned. The experiment I want to do is I am not sure how long for sure this rig will run off DC mode only in a parked position, meaning the engine is not running, so I'm not charging the battery as I drive. I do not have it plugged into um, shore power, so we're just going to let this baby run. It's currently on, what do you want to call that? Let's call it 83% state of charge. Um, I rolled into here, here being home base Florida, yesterday, and I arrived with a total 100% state of charge. So in a single day, we've consumed about 20% of the battery. Um, what's been running is the ceiling fan, which is right behind me. The, the, um, uh, the cover thing is off for a reason. We'll talk about that a different day. Um, and I've had minimal lights on, and then the fridge and freezer. Fridge, freezer. And that's all I've had running. So, and that's all I plan to run. I don't plan to drive this for a few days. So state of charge is at 70%, um, which is uh, doing pretty good. Again, all I have running is the fan and the fridge and the freezer. Very minimal lights, because I haven't been in here, been in uh, home base. <laughs> um, keeping an eye on things, right? Um, but 70%, so I think it was 80% yesterday. So it looks like it's about 10% per 24 hour period. Um, although we're not really to 24 hours yet, but uh, let's uh, let's keep an eye on this. That's, uh, I'm pretty pleased with that. Again, haven't driven the van, no driving. And it's, as you can see out here, it is not connected to shore power. It's simply sitting here. Again, day four, 24 hour period, and we've gone from 100 to about 50%, I'll call it. Um, the charge, um, what is charging, uh, putting energy into the battery pack is the solar. The solar is certainly contributing to the, the energy pack here. But I gotta tell you, this is day four, and we are only half, half of the batteries uh, discharged, which is amazing to me. And so pretty impressed by, by this uh, uh, energy consumption and energy going into the battery pack. What do you think? Um, on your current setup, if you're running DC only, I'm curious, um, how many days are you getting out of your energy system if you're running off batteries, um, as many do? Again, not plugged into shore power, not driving, no under chassis generator, um, just sitting still, soaking up the sun, charging the battery. How many days can your rig go? How many days would you like a rig to go? put those in the comments below and we'll check in tomorrow another 24 hour period coming up so here's lily all lonely and dark here at home base again this is the fifth 24 hour period and we are now down at 30 percent right on the nose so we've actually lost or state of charge went from nearly 50 percent to 30 in the last 24 hour period so that would definitely tell me that solar makes a significant contribution because of the overnight clearly and the cloudy dark. conditions are and clearly the cloudy conditions are making a big impact on that so i give that about 10 percent because it was going down about 10 percent a day uh, up until this point it's gone down 20 percent so solar very much so making a contribution to the uh storage pack here by about 10 percent so on cloudy days if it's truly going down 20 percent that has a significant impact on the uh, endurance of the uh, lithium system. So we're gonna let this keep running. That's the update. Again, we're day five of five 24 hour periods. 
Stay tuned for more. All right, all right, late day check-in, 2351 hours, which means it's just about 11 o'clock. We are approaching the 21% state of charge mark, which means that the battery has 21% energy left and it will turn yellow. Um, since it's about uh, 11 p.m., we've run about five and a half days now of uh, DC power, again, running only a few lights minimally mostly the fan and definitely the fridge and freezer and uh today florida uh very cool and very cloudy all day so i've been amazed at the amount of solar that actually is additive to the energy pack from the last four days versus today i'm gonna let this go tonight i don't think it will go to zero um because we got basically eight more hours so we'll probably my guess is get it to probably It'll go into a red state, so it'll probably be around 10%. Um, and if it gets really close to zero, it's gonna just shut down altogether to preserve itself and, and get into kind of a sleep mode. Uh, had that happen um, before, so I'm not overly concerned about it. But um, at this point, what would typically happen is uh, when it gets to 20, the gauge will glow yellow, indicating where, please plug me in, I'm getting low. And then at 10%, it goes to red, and then probably about 5% is when it would just uh, turn off and not to do anything further to prevent uh, any damage to the system. So um, we'll let it go. So it's about 22% and we will uh, see what it looks like in the morning. I'm kind of excited by this, uh, by this experiment. It's been really cool. And I'm really amazed at the uh, additive energy that solar was providing in full sunlight with the solar controller uh, improvement the um, that um, uh, both have put on my system that's now coming with all the uh, uh, Travados to my knowledge uh, 2020 model year um, so while as before lift or the, uh, the energy from the solar was kind of a like, yeah because um, it didn't do a whole lot now with that upgrade it's actually editing uh, additive to the energy pack quite a bit as this is proven all right with that we'll say night night and we'll see you tomorrow okay okay then it's about 7 30 Zero seven thirty hours. For those of us trying to learn military time, here's Lily. I have not opened the door yet, so I have no idea what I'm gonna find. Uh, here we go. Wow. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we have a yellow gauge. That is very good. And as I s assumed it was, it is at 10%. Uh, so probably if I let it run another uh, hour or two, it'll change red. Maybe I'll do that just for the effect of it. So you can see that there's definitely a yellow tint to the gauge, right? Um, now I've had my uh, save charge meter upgraded thanks to the uh, Volta guys. And uh, what this used to have is a plastic ring around it indicating colors. And uh, But now the gauge itself um, and the colors indicated, you know, good green, yellow, and then red state of charge. Uh, so now the um, gauge itself changes color, which is pretty cool. Looks like it's red, but it's actually yellow. Maybe like that, you can see it. The needle's giving off some yellow tint. So let's, uh, let's let it go. I'm gonna let it go till I, until it turns red. I wanna see at what state it does turn red. I'm gonna guess it's at 10 now. Maybe, maybe it goes off at five, I don't know. It's right at 10% now. So let's continue the experiment again. All right, so it's two hours later. It's about 9.30, zero nine thirty hours. And open the door, see where the state of charge is. My guess is we've dipped below 20% and it's gone from yellow to red. Let's check that out. Wow. Yes, yes, awesome. You guys get to see this with me in real time. So this is so cool. So we're at 9% state of charge, it definitely is red. And uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna plug this in. So clearly it probably run for another I'm guessing 12 hours and then turn off. Uh, the system would turn off altogether uh, to preserve itself. And uh, so I'm gonna go plug it in to uh, shore power, which is 110 volt household outlet. So again, this is really a great experiment. I'm really happy you're along for the ride here. 
So I'd say five 24 hour periods of which two of those 24 hour periods were in pretty crappy, very gray weather. Now, the first three days, the solar was absolutely adding to the, the energy pack, consuming about 10% per day. And now without the solar contribution because of the weather, um, it's looking like it's consuming about 20% per day. Uh, that is my unscientific analysis, but yeah, really cool experiment. Hope you really enjoyed that. I learned a lot. I learned that um, the Volta Pier 3 lithium system can give uh, at least five days of uh, DC power. And if you had solar weather, sunny, sunny weather, um, the uh, additive of the solar panels is absolutely um, on point these days. So here's my recommendation. If you have an older lithium Pier 3 Volta system, um, I would contact your Winnebago dealer and talk with them about getting an upgrade to the gauge, uh, but more importantly, an upgrade to the solar controller, which is right here. Uh, the reason for that is the this is the second gen on both of those that I had installed by Volta, and uh, I would really recommend getting your hands on those. Contact your Winnebago dealer. Um, they can fill you in on the details, I'm pretty sure. Um, and you'll want to reference the Volta video that I did with Jack and the team um, from Volta at the Winnebago Grand National Rally in July. So there's some really important information there. Um, you should have received some information in a letter, um, again, if you're a first gen uh, Pier 3 system owner, um, on how to do some of this. Um, but if you haven't seen that or haven't um, uh, thought about that, uh, definitely reach out to your Winnebago dealer, maybe drop a line to the Volta team up in Holland, Michigan. So again, a great experiment. Really appreciate you joining me for the ride. Until we see you again, I wish you to have a sexy electric day. Journey on. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate that. My name is Scott. I am your host, and this is Go Small Live Large. We are a YouTube channel and a growing community of enthusiasts around the RV van life lifestyle. And um, I share my learnings from the road, my passions, which is the RV lifestyle, the places we go, the people we meet, and everything about the um, learnings from the road. So if that is of interest to you, give this uh, a thumb up. That helps uh, indicate you like this content and it helps others find the channel. I love comments. You can go to my website. You can see where I'm headed next and uh, provide some local advice. And if you're an Instagram follower, I have an Instagram, um, what do they call those? Channels? And uh, go small, live large. Find me very quickly. And that I post a picture every day.